from here in Miami. It's pretty, it's a pretty nice morning. It's like, I like it because it's pretty warm. If you know me, like I'm always cold, so I kind of like the warmth. <laughs> Coffee, please, a large pot. Of coffee, absolutely, Miss Altman, for room 1611. For how many person? One, please. Absolutely. And would you like to have any uh, cream or milk for your coffee? No, thank you. Just black? Yes. Perfect. And would that be all? Yes. We'll try to be there as soon as possible, Miss Altman. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am getting ready to go to SoulCycle this morning, and I thought I would do a video, since I don't think I'm going to see anyone today, I'm just really not in the mood to see any of these individuals currently, um, that I want to do a video on like how I stay healthy while traveling. For me, it's not something I have to really even like think of that much, I don't know, it's just part of like my life, and like, I, I don't know, it's nothing like crazy, but small things I do that I notice that the people like I travel with often don't do. The first one is just that, like, I like to get up and work out first thing. It has been, like, my meditative part of my day for years. Um, ever since high school, I wanted to, like, get up and work out because, I mean, once you get used to this part of your life, it's like there's no not getting out of bed. Like, it's like that's what you do. And I like fitness classes. Um, I do have, like, at-home bikes. And I do at-home workouts. But if I'm, like, in out of town, I look for a Pilates studio, I look for a boxing studio, I look for a cycling studio if there's like a Soul Cycle or similar in the city. So this morning I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle South Beach because like that's the one I usually go to here. Yeah, I mean it doesn't have to be crazy. If there's absolutely nothing, I'll just go on like a walk at the hotel gym and do a little bit of lifting, even though like hotel gyms usually suck. I don't know, I just, I fucking hate hotel gyms, even if it's like a nicer hotel, except for one hotel. One hotel is a really nice gym, but that hotel was completely booked up for this weekend. So first thing is just think about incorporating like light movement especially if you're gonna be like not going around a lot in your trip and you're traveling on a plane for a while like little thing to do every day common sense but I don't know helps me to book classes and just have that all organized ahead of time I was running late to soul cycle so I did not get any clips in there but like I don't know what do you want to see me do you put on my soul cycle shoes like it's not that interesting or cool uh, I ordered some coffee I have one call and then I think I'll either eat after or hit up my friend Sharmila. I think she's been in my videos. She lives here in Miami, or a little bit outside, but she, we're gonna come meet, so either like her or I meet up with her tonight, or I just, you know, keep in this stay in and do content, but I think I've actually done enough content for the next few days besides my vlogmas. And another thing that I want to talk about with traveling and like staying healthy while traveling is just like being prepared. Um, like for example, if you know that you're going to be out all day, just like bring food. If you know that you're gonna be inside all day, just know that you don't have to think about it and you'll get to like order room service or like whatever. Like just being aware and prepared, that's the major difference that I've found between anyone in any healthy dynamic is just awareness. It doesn't mean over preparation, like I didn't bring any food like on the plane, et cetera, because I knew I wasn't gonna be like eating like in that early in the morning. I also like, I don't know, I don't feel the need to like bring, like I know in Miami, it's like I don't need to over prepare, like I'll be fine whenever I want anything or to work out anywhere. But for example, like when I was in Lisbon, um, there wasn't anywhere to like work out and delivery was pretty scarce based on like the times that things closed. So I was just more aware of being being like, oh, you might want to go like get snacks ready and like, oh, you might want to look at uh, like running trails in the area. It was like cold though. So I just ended up not really working out there, which was fine. Like I'm adaptable and it's like, like both awareness and adaptability, I think are just the main things. Like you don't need to overthink these things. It's just like being a logical, adaptable, aware person. Like just be aware, just be aware. I don't know. I find these things very easy. Like very simple, but I'd say the largest thing too, being healthy while traveling, just like awareness. It, yeah, if you're already in a routine of prioritizing, like, feeling decent, then it's not that hard. But if you're already someone who isn't familiar with, like, what works for you, with being healthy, then it is going to compound because of the instability. But yeah, I'd say just, like, awareness. Yeah. <laughs> I now need to get ready to go out for the day, and Sarah has to come over and get her things that have been here for the past two days after all this. Um, Jesus Christ. I just... Ugh. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I've never felt so gross in my life, just, like, knowing that you're a lifelong best friend. Uh, I don't know, just, like, I always knew that I was, like, the leader, like, I show her things in life, she usually follows that, etc., but, like, 
riding on your coattails so much to sleep with literally your only boyfriend ever like a week and a half after you break up and are still friends and he's still in your dms and like texting you like i'm so sad things didn't work out like i would have like loved to be with oh my god oh my god oh my god and knowing that it's not like he's a player like he's not going around saying this to other girls like she's not falling victim like this is just oh just so many levels of nausea like flat out nausea that make me like yesterday I, I was never a mess this isn't the kind of thing where i'm going to become a mess over it's the kind of thing where i'm just beyond uncomfortable and i'm like well i guess this is what happens when you have someone that displays i mean i can say that i can see little things leading up to this like in high school but you don't think about those things when you're then 23 and you think that people grow up, but it's overall quite disappointing. Yeah, RIP. Curling hair. Going to meet a friend for acai. Layla, Definatrix, she's awesome. She like messaged me before all this and was like, something's up. I was like, you psychic bitch. <laughs> Yeah, she's awesome. Hey, you can come in. This is supposed to be a fucking like, <laughs> like easygoing vlog. Oh my God. Oh my god, I just get ready. Jesus Christ. I can't cry now, I have white on my waterline. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Like, that's so ins- that is so insane. Like, you can literally, like, I feel like people are gonna be so sad with me because you can go back in those vlogs and, like, see me so- I don't know. It's, that's- That is next level. That's- Just the insanity is knowing that, like, I keep saying this, but, like, you bring someone into a space to change their life and you could be with any- any- Oh my god. I need to- I need to get dressed. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Okay, so I'm wearing the skirt that I showed in my try-on haul, and then the jacket goes with it. It's like this, and this just works very well as an outfit. So I can like have it like unbuttoned, buttoned, etc. And then I'm just wearing my like Gucci, I have the Calvin Klein matching underwear on underneath. Um, I'm just wearing it with my Gucci shoes, because that looks better in my opinion. Hi there. Um, could I get the cacao protein crunch? Uh, and instead of almonds, could I have almond butter, please? Cool. And then I'll do um, a cold brew as well. And I'll get yours too. We're good to go. We're good. It's got the black magic. Can I have the black magic, please? Yes. And this is Layla. She's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Layla is talking about starting her own YouTube and, okay, it's blurry, so I'm just gonna like focus in on you. Basically, yeah, no, it's, it's a very tight focus on this lens, which I like for YouTube. It blurs out the background, but she is starting her own YouTube channel, DeFi Natrix. She will be doing like very cool, intense DeFi things and you should follow her because literally one in a million person, like one in a million integrity, one in a million. Like she fucking comes from like the Eastern Europe side of shit too. So she get like, we just, uh, we're, maybe we're related or some shit. Maybe, mm -hmm. may, maybe back in the day because she gets it. No betrayal here. Like just OG, like once, this is going to be like, people are going to look back at this clip in like a year when you've like blown up and you're like, I don't know, like crypto goddess all over. They're going to be like, oh my God, young Layla, like before, before all this. So yeah, like hundred percent. And she's so like incredible photographer as well. So Soul yeah. Sisters for sure. <laughs> I am like so thankful for Layla. Like she is a gem, uh, the kind of person that is really different from the person that I thought was my friend, but who I now see 
it was not one-off situations with guys where that was a misunderstanding. It's like literally just seeing like how, how you can hurt someone the most. And this is like the weird thing. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking out of my ass here, but like it takes me like months to consider being in a relationship, let alone like physical with someone. How is there like an I'm sorry accident with like getting with like the only person like your friend's been with as an adult? Like how, how does that happen? Like, when he's texting you the same night that he decides to do this, like, I wish I could see you, like, all this shit, and then this happens, like, what in the not functioning frontal lobe? It was really sad talking to Layla, like, today, because we were saying how, I don't, I don't, I don't know, like, this is so sad, and I can't believe I'm crying on camera, but it's like, I don't know, I grew up like my mom, like, I door slammed her because she was such an abusive alcoholic and it was like just cut out as soon as I could because like I didn't know trust and we're talking about like I don't know what trust is I don't know what forgiveness is I don't know what any of these things like are that she that that, that people talk about having in relationships like I don't know he was just a nice person and then also hearing from her some of the really things that he said to other people we were dating that I feel like were invasions of privacy um that I'm I'm pretty grossed out by um and then then just saying like yeah like I grew up and there was no trust because it was my mom um I didn't talk to anyone in high school because I have such a void I'm sorry I mean college I didn't talk to anyone like I was alone deciding whether to kill myself or not in college because I I, I just I was so lonely like after leaving everyone uh back in Texas like in New York I was like I don't know if I want to kill myself or just write books I wrote books and then didn't decide to kill myself but then like, I blew up on social media and an entire community turns against you for things you didn't do and so you don't trust them because you see that they're so willing to take anyone down who has success. Um, and then, like, your literal best friend of two decades, like, the only person that you've ever, ever been with or opened up to, like, oh my god, and I saw you deleted his Twitter. Monkey charts on Twitter. Fucking I don't even care anymore. Like, you can fucking know. Uh, monkey charts on Twitter. Like, the frontal lobe deficit in this situation. I literally don't have words for it. It was meant to be like a, how I stay healthy when I'm traveling. Oh, fuck that shit. Like, how do I stay sane when, like, it was sad too because I, <laughs> this makes me like so sad when I told my dad and he, the first thing he goes is like, <laughs> Mara, not all people are like this, um, because, like, that's all I know. Like, immediately I was like, Dad, like, I can't, like, when does this, with this end? And he's like, I don't know, it's not a feeling sorry for myself. This is not the same as, like, when, I don't know, I think about killing myself because of, like, like, online people making things up and coming after me and me being like, what is there to live if everyone thinks this? This is, like, this is more just, like, the way I described it is, like, nauseous. Like, I was eating my ass, I eat, like, telling this to Layla, and we were both, like, 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 convulsing, convulsing, because you know that when they did this, they're sitting there laughing, probably being like, imagine Marin when she hears this. Oh my god, fucking, like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and all these vlogs where, like, I paid for that suite at the fucking Burj Al Arab. People think I'm getting flight out, like, flown out, like, no, I paid for that, and, like, both of us. That is so sad. I don't know, I'm probably oversharing, like, <laughs> That's so sad. But yeah, I guess, like, he's gonna have to fucking change his username and shit, but like... <laughs> this is the kind of thing where, like, there's some things I would wish on people where it's like a wake-up call. Like, I wouldn't wish... Yeah. This was meant to be like a lighthearted vlog mess of like my life. Oh my god, that's so sad. I don't know. I it's not even sad. It's like the third person sadness. Um on the way when I said it, there was like no remorse. It was like thank you for everything you've taught me. I don't know. It's just like that's so sad. This fucking 24-year-old like kid just pulls this shit in my out of everyone in this group like that is so like that is so mean it's funny that is so cruel i have no words i, I want to vomit i want to like curl up and yeah i just need to like oh jesus christ um but i hope none of you have to deal with this and don't date people under the age of 45 who have no frontal lobe functioning and do not deserve yeah yeah but 
hope that, um, I don't know. I don't know. 